Uh, tonight, a Salt Lake City family is pleading for answers after police confirmed they are investigating a body found on the Jordan River as a homicide. Lauren Steinbrecher is live with how the family is sharing their story, all in hopes of getting closure. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly, so Joe Salas's wife of 24 years kind of put up this memorial for him in West Valley where it's a special spot for them. We have cards and notes and flowers, but with that, is this poster asking for information as they try to figure out what happened to Joe. When you hear the news report, a man found dead on the Jordan River from what police suspect is murder, Alexia and Heather want you to know. It hurts every day to know that you can never turn around and tell that person you love them ever, ever again. This man meant something to them. He left behind, you know, a, a family and, and grandkids and, and uh, and he was very proud of each and every one of them. This is Joe Salas, who loved his family and fishing. You can find him along the Jordan River and at City Creek. He loved City Creek Canyon. That's where he would he could catch fish with his hands. He just Stuck all of a sudden just wing off. fish out of the river. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was awesome. That's exactly what the family did together on June 6th three days before Joe was found dead in one of his favorite spots on the Jordan River near North Temple and the fairgrounds. I would have thought that would be the last time and be with his kids. I know. But it was a good it was a good day. It was a good day. It was a really good day. <laughs> We're and, and nothing glad. but smiles and happiness. Salt Lake City Police can only say the injuries point to homicide. Alexia and Heather want to know what happened and who did this. It was taken away from us and that's not fair. And, and uh, I really, I really just want to know why. Yeah, I think why, why more than anything. Um, um, sure. It hurts. So when you hear the news report, the name Joseph Salas, Alexia and Heather want you to know what Joe meant to them, to his entire family, how much this is tearing them apart. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. It's my best friend. <sighs> and I love him. Uh, Salt Lake City Police are also hoping for answers. You can call and report something to them. You can also remain anonymous. In the meantime, Heather has put up lots of posters just like this one on the bottom saying that Joe was a good husband, father, and grandfather of five little boys. Live in West Valley City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.